Uh, greetings all and welcome back to Globit's Gaming Channel. Got some more World of Tanks for you here. Uh, this time I've got Sue, who's one of mine, and he's driving the VK3002M, or what it's been christened in the World of Tanks world is the real Panther. Um, uh, the reason, well, the Tier 7 Panther isn't really truly a Panther. This this tank really looks and feels a lot more like the Panther really should. It's a Tier 6 German medium tank. And the other two guys who he's platooned with have decided to go out in their dirt wagons in the KV-2s. We've got Dai and Max. Okay. Now, this the only reason why I need to show you this replay. There's always a reason for me showing you every single replay. They're usually quite good games, in my opinion, anyway. Well, they're certainly good in, in my, up to my standard. But the real reason I wanted to show you this replay is because so many times I've realised something in World of Tanks that I actually tend to play a lot better when I've had the shit kicked out of me in the early stage of the game. When you lose a significant amount of your health, which uh, Sue is going to do in the early stages, you tend to, well, for me, it makes me play better. Um, I'd rather like my tanks to go out with a little bit less health. Not, I'm only joking. If I tend to get spanned in the early stages, I tend to play a little bit more occasionally, maybe a little bit more how I should. Uh, the position he takes originally here, I wasn't too, well, I'm not used to playing this map with the, since the changes, but to be honest with you, I don't like this position. He's instantly spotted. Um, that T1 Heavy has to see him from there. Um, so he's given his position away. Now, if you give your position away in the early stages of a game, both sides suffer from this. If you, if your team or the enemy team see a friend, an enemy tank early on in the game, it alters the direction that they go. The amount of times that I've been playing my scouts, for example here, a Tiger, Tiger 1, okay? I believe he's turned this corner because he's seen him early. Okay. I managed to put a couple of shots into it, but what I mean by this is when I've been scouted and I've got really good early spots on in a game, um, my team act like complete dickheads and basically they all, the classic one is on Malinovka, if you want, old school Malinovka. You do a monster scout run at the start of the game and you give the tanks in the north or the south the opportunity to shoot across the big open space. Is it Malinovka? The one with the big open field with the row of houses. Um, it's been changed recently. The hill's changed. Um, I think it's Malinovka. But the what you do is you'd highlight the enemies and you give them something to shoot at. And all your tanks would stop and nobody would take the hill. Now this isn't prevalent in this game, but Sue's down at 5 health. He's just been flanked by a Panzer 3-4, uh, which isn't good. And now there's a KV-3 to contend with. Luckily the KV-3 misses. And for some unfathomable reason, gives to his side. It's all good for us, it's happy days for us, because we can get a couple of shots into his engine and set him on fire. Who basically, he then uses his repair kit, and basically Sue's just putting the pain in. Like Gun depression looks reasonable on this tank. Um, I may work towards this vehicle, I'm not sure. Uh, but it looks a reasonably good tank. It's got a high DPM, reasonably da good damage. Let's just check the damage out on it. You've got... 150 pen, 135. Oh, it's the L70. Oh no, the L39. 75 mil A39. Not a bad gun. All right, so done pretty well so far. We've got two kills and 1500 damage, but we've got no health left. We have bingo health. This tank only has 840 hit points. And this is where Sue seems to get his thinking cap on. Now he's making decisions. Um, they're in a platoon, so we, they use our team speak quite a lot. So they're definitely on team speak, talking to each other, um, and he's using the facilities of the mod pack to its fullest advantage. He does it in a moment. He basically scans out and has a look um, at the battlefield using the zoom out mod. I uh, know I really like the zoom out mod and the zoom in for the aiming as well. Um, he basically takes a look at the tanks that have been spotted. He basically bruises back and sees where that E25 is facing, but he notices in the spots that there's a VK3001H there. And for some reason, I don't know why, he just sits there. He's only doing 135 damage blinking shots every time he hits it, but he's been hit three times now. You can't fix silly. Bless him, that guy. I don't think he's that great on the stats. On the stats, where is he, the Raven? No, he's not exactly a fantastic player. He's probably playing on a really slow PC or a laptop. Probably didn't have time to react. But anyway, we digress. And the dog's barking. Now, Sue's put his thinking cap on. He's playing very cagely now. He's flanking around the back of this tiger, he's not doing anything too risky, he just pops out, has a look, see where the tiger's looking, he donks his shot, but the pressure's getting to him, he has a look at the KV-2, just to double check, 
Because all this KV2 has to do on him now is basically sneeze on him and he'll die. Again, because it's only a little damaging hits, he's got two shots into him before the Tiger even realises that he's being flanked. He can take him out. Now, this is not a scene you want to see through your scope if you have five health. You do not want to see that. Sorry, just pause it in there. You do not want to see a KV2 looking at you like that. Now, I know for a fact he's just fired. He's got a 20 second minimum, 20 second reload. We can take him apart. I'm pretty sure Sue's arse was twitching like a bunny's nose when he was doing that. So anyway, the 3002M. The real Panther. Let's check the post-game stats out. Yep. Nice solid victory there. Earned him a mastery badge. Didn't do anything outstanding, to be perfectly honest. It was a good game. Um, 1,856 experience for a non-doubled standard account. Not a bad effort at all. 34,000 credits. A tier 6 medium. That's pretty good. All right. One thing he does need to do with this, as it says in the replay description, he needs to remember he's not driving a heavy tank. I think Sue does drive a lot of hull down heavies and tigers and things for my uh, remembering what he does in the team battles and stuff. But yeah, but he absolutely crippled that KV3. He did six critical down damage on him. It's ridiculous. Uh, for the regards of the team score, it was a base experience of 1,547. Basically, tier six is shooting at tier eight heavies and doing lots of damage to them. You're going to get these kind of results. Brilliant, brilliant effort. Uh, to put it this way, the T29 only got a thousand less damage than him, but Sue nearly doubled his experience. Yeah. Uh, any special mentions on this? Not particularly. The enemy team didn't do that well. Um, didn't do that well at all, really. I suppose the Tiger, but then again, he should be doing that. He should be doing a lot more than that as a top tier heavy. On our team, any special mentions? How did the Derp Squad do? Max, uh, I think he took out the ELC or died. Did. Yeah, not exactly fantastic, but corner fighting in KV2s against Tigers. But, ugh, never mind. Yep, yeah, netted him 24,000 credits. Not a bad showing at all. Yeah, so does this happen to you? Does this kind of thing happen to you when you tend to get uh, your, lot of your health taken out early on in the game? Do you tend to play a lot better? I'm just a, a question out there to everybody. Is that something you guys do? Because um, I tend to find it as well. That's one of the reasons I showed you that replay. So take care of yourselves, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye now.